guys so I want to upgrade this uh, Asus uh, laptop it's Asus VivoBook uh, X510 UQ um, and it's pretty good um, last year I um, upgraded the hard drive to M.2 and it made a big difference on this laptop and it's pretty good uh, in terms of speed however I noticed that the memory uh, is still 8 gig and uh, even though it's fast enough um, when I'm running like uh, multiple extensive application the memory usage is really high and I don't want to get into a situation where it really slows down and goes into the page file so much so let's turn this laptop on okay and see how fast it will start okay see this fast takes a second all right now All right, so let's go into, just wait a second, let's everything get loaded up. Okay, now go into Test Manager. And this is where you see the difference. It's showing 44% even though I'm not running any extensive application uh, I just started the computer so it fluctuate a little bit but uh, in any event uh, it is like between 38 and 45 percent memory when you first start the computer with basic things uh, preloaded um, so if I'm running extensive applications uh, the memory usage is high so if I wanted to this laptop can support up to 16 gig so I wanted to upgrade that to at least 16 gig uh, and that would make a difference. I mean the speed is pretty good, it's just that um, um, the uh, when I'm running multiple application, uh, I don't want the computer to or laptop to slow down. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So in order to upgrade my Asus uh, laptop, uh, I did a research uh, to find out uh, the up upgradable memory and it's uh, very easy if you just go to a uh, crucial website um, I'll just crucial memory okay so basically you go to crucial website and from here you can uh, look at Asus and then Asus Netbooks and we're looking for our model which is X510 uh, let's go to the last one and this way we can X 510 UQ that's what we are looking for all right next okay we got to 509 510 UQ right right here okay so we're looking for this one and click on memory and uh, this is where you'll find all the compatible memory that can go with this laptop so I'm looking for um, um, either 8 gigabyte uh, dim or so dim or uh, 16 gigabyte so this is the 16 gigabyte which is only one um, if I do with pair uh, so 
Let's see if I could do with pair. This is 32, this is 16, this is 32, this is 16. Okay, so here we go. And um, this is 21. I believe my laptop is this one. But this is 32, so uh, here we go. This is the one, 16 gig. Okay, where to buy? And then if you go to Amazon, it's right there for $65. I get two of them. Okay, uh, or if I want to buy only one, uh, so we go back. Um, let's say if I already have, I don't know, I have to open it up to see if I have one. I probably have an 8 gig uh, DIMM, but some laptop have like a 4 gig uh, soldered into the motherboard and 4 gig DIMM. So I just have to see that. All right, and anyway, if I have to get uh, uh, one of these, which will make it 12. Or no, actually, because if I already have, all right, eight, four, four. Okay, that will make sixteen. Okay, so see where to buy. Amazon. There you go, thirty-three dollars. All right. So uh, let's open the laptop and see what's in there, and uh, then we come back to. Uh, come back to here to see which one to buy okay okay so as you could see this is uh, uh, the laptop uh, uh, the model number is right there okay is uh, uh, model is sorry model number is right there x510u and if you look at that, the exact model X510 UQNH71. Okay, so in order to remove, we have to remove uh, uh, these screws one, two, uh, three, uh, four, okay, and five, six, seven. Uh, is one is missing eight, nine. And then there, there, there are two uh, hidden underneath these uh, rubber seats. Okay, so let's take a look and then open them up. Now after opening all the screws, um, we have to use either a credit card or um, another plastic uh, repair tool to open it up. First we just uh, open it up on the back, just a little bit. Okay, we get that a little bit.
Just have to be careful in the back here. Okay, so the cover is off. Okay, now it is recommended to disconnect the battery, but I'm not going to disconnect it. I'm just going to be careful. Okay, this is the battery. Okay, um, all right, let's see. We got um, one dim is. Uh, is open the other dim is right there and let me take a look at uh, what that dim is a uh, so dim I should call it I keep calling it dim in laptop it's so dim all right so let's take this dim out let me discharge my static okay and take this clip out okay comes off and let's take a look and it is uh, let's see what it says oh it is uh, actually it's a Samsung uh, right let me find this Samsung if I could get the exact one that would be great this is the 8 gig alright so okay, so this is in all right let me find the exact match and get back here so i looked it up and I found almost exactly the same uh, sodium on uh, eBay for $25 so I bought it and I'm gonna wait uh, for it to come and then I'm gonna install it uh, uh, so it would be 16 gig of uh, RAM on this laptop okay so I got the memory I'm going to install uh, the memory stick into the available module so this is uh, where the empty module is so let's put this in and okay that's it all right so i'm going to close it and see how good the speed of the laptop is okay let's turn this thing on and just I'm gonna let it load and to see how the uh, task manager is in terms of the memory utilization okay let's take a look at the task manager Ah, as you can see, instead of 45% memory utilization, it has dropped to 22%. I mean, the speed is almost the same. It's just a little difference in, in terms of the speed. 
uh, but uh, memory utilization is where that I had a concern um, is 22 percent and if I have to use uh, extensive uh, memory extensive usage memory um, extensive application I mean um, then uh, uh, I you know it's going to be pretty good and I'm not going to have any problem uh, with the memory utilization so there you go it's pretty good